So how should investors approach art? What are the risks and rewards? Let's find out more from AXA Corporate Solutions Assurance Asia Pacific CEO, Dr. Ulrich Guntram. Thank you very much for joining us. So the art investment market, it's estimated at around $55 billion. During good times, you get double digit returns. During bad times, the market crashes. What is the best way for investors to go about it? The $55 billion number, which probably today is even bigger, is spread over 35 million transactions or even more. The average transaction price is a bit more than $1,000. Hmm. So if we talk about the art market, we talk about an extremely heterogeneous market, and the whole market is usually not regulated. Hmm. So you first need to orient yourself where you want to put your chips. There is so much mania, almost hysteria, over Chinese art or even contemporary art pieces because of the upside, but is that uh, reasonable? The best I'm aware of the, is the May Moses Index, uh, a professor from New York who specialized and who is just working with profound empirical transaction data. And he has a time series for contemporary Chinese mark, uh, works of art. and. Um, they did have a compound growth rate in value if, and that's the big if, if it's not a fake. Mm. What's the best way to get around or even avoid or detect con artists? There is no sure way. Um, even world-class experts have been proven wrong. Um, we get, as art insurers, certificates from you know, the best known names and we find out in hindsight it, they can be wrong, it can be fake. Nevertheless, you should go with good um, certificates, with, you should know the provenance. Mm. You should always get a second opinion, never mm. trust one source. And if possible, do your own research. But who do you buy it from? Do you go with the auction houses, the galleries, the museums, art dealers? There's always a cut involved. Um, if you can afford, an art dealer will be the scout for you. He will prepare the deal. He will make sure that you get um, real stuff and not forgery. Um, but then you really pay high price. You can go for auction. People love to be in auction to bid and the atmosphere there. Or they go to art fairs. This is very fashionable these days. Mm. The best super parties in the world today is not sports. It's not... Um, Fashion, it is art. Right. Uh, conventional wisdom has told us that the art market trails the capital market by about one and a half to two years. That means that given where Wall Street is, then 2016 and 2017 should be the best years for art investment? <laughs> yes, the art market was lagging the capital, the equity market by plus minus 18 months. This empirical rule is proven wrong since the last financial crisis, 2008, simply because many oligarchs, many big buyers in the art market had their um, equities, which they paid with loans, and they invested in art. Then the equity market crashed. The loan, the collateral, was only worth 50% of the initial face value, so they had to pay instantly back the loan, which mm. means they had to sell their art. Mm. And this is where the capital market crash in 2008 immediately um, triggered on to the crash, to some crash in the art market, particularly the contemporary segment. Mm. The um, old master segment, the impressionists are much more stable. So does that mean that contemporary works, now that they've come down, there can be upside? Well, they have come down, but um, already 15, 18 months ago, we have reached pre-crisis levels. Oh. So whatever the dip was, it has recovered, and the rally goes on. Mm. We have seen last autumn, again, record-breaking auctions in New York. So. Um, we are now reaching evenings with Sotheby's and Christie's where they make sales of close to a billion US dollars.